someone asked me how a record works well um, there's one groove that starts off from here and then uh, it just winds around and around and around and around like a bazillion times and it finishes off here right now what happens is this groove isn't just a straight line it's not just a straight line that goes around in circles as it goes around it's actually it does this, it vibrates left right left right left right that's what it does um, what happens is if you've ever seen a wave kind of a wave picture of a sound, a sound wave do you know what a sound wave looks like on a computer or somewhere if you've seen one where the sound just goes up like that that's pretty much exactly the way the groove is shaped every time the bass hits or an instrument plays it goes up and then back down then back up back down and it's just wound up like that it's a tiny little tiny microscopic sort of um, you know um, vibrations left and right but that's basically what happens it, it goes left right left right left right left right like that um, and then what happens is with the needle it here I'll show you I have a little screwdriver. I'm not going to touch the record with the screwdriver. Don't do that. But basically what happens is if this is like a gigantic needle, right? The stylus. Um, there's a groove that goes all the way around. And that, the point of that needle sits inside the groove like that. And it just goes along the groove. Now, when the groove starts vibrating, the, when the groove goes left, right like that, the point of the needle goes like that as well. It goes left, right like that as it follows the groove. And it's those vibrations that get uh, sent, the signal of those vibrations gets sent down the turn arm and into the mixer. That's where the sound comes from. Now, you can't actually make these yourself. Like, you can't burn a copy of a record. You have to buy these because, basically, I assume the way they would make it is they would just have a big press, pour some of this uh, vinyl in, and just press it into shape basically just like um, so when they make car parts bumpers and stuff I'm pretty sure it will be the same kind of thing there'll be a big kind of thing that just closes in and uh, some plastic is poured inside or something oh no wait no, I think it's like some sort of powder or something that gets put over the top and then it presses it together and probably melts I'm not too sure exactly what the process is but basically it's pressed together and it's the the metal parts of the machine would have the grooves in them and it just gets pressed together and then you get this vinyl out of it now I'll show you the vibrations what I mean if you move the record very slowly can you see the needle vibrating when it's going fast it doesn't matter when it's going fast it's not a big deal but when it goes very slow as the as the, it starts going left right like that like heaps if you move it really slowly, the whole tone arm will shake left right. So let's find it. Can you see that? Can you see how it's going left right? Can you see that? Because when it moves quickly, it just balances itself out. The little needle shakes underneath. But when you go really slowly, it moves the whole tone arm. So basically, that's how the record works. There you go.